Hey guys and welcome back and in today's video I'll be showing you how to change the country of your Google Play Store account. Now if you ever traveled and come across apps on the App Store that you've never seen before in your home country, it's likely because many apps, games, movies, and music on the Google Play Store are only available in certain regions. The country of your Google Play Store account is determined by your IP address, which is why we will be using a VPN to change your location. And by changing your country settings, you can gain access to a wide range of content such as Japanese games or streaming platforms like BBC iPlayer from outside the UK. However, keep in mind that you will need a payment method in the country you're changing into and that you can only change your Google Play country settings once every 12 months and that's where a VPN comes in handy. I will be using ExpressVPN, so let's get started. Now before we begin, if at any point you'd like to give the VPNs mentioned in this video a try, you'll find the latest pricing, discounts, and reviews available in the description down below. First, select a VPN that is secure, dependable, and compatible with various platforms and has a vast network of servers. I recommend using ExpressVPN as it is considered one of the top VPN providers in 2023 due to its reliability, speed, and ability to access locations-based limitations easily. However, if you're on a budget, Surfshark is also a great option and can be used on multiple devices with a single subscription providing excellent value. Search for ExpressVPN in the Google Play Store, install the app, and then choose a plan that best fits your budget. Then clear your device's data and cache, so you can do this by going to the device's settings. So navigate to the settings of your device and locate the app section, which will display all the apps installed on your device. Keep in mind that the location of this section may vary depending on the version of Android and devices you are using. Then locate the Google Play Store app, select it, and tap Force Stop. After that, go to the storage and press the clear data button. This will clear the cache and data for your Google Play Store, but will not delete any of your profiles or apps. Now, when you open the Play Store, it will connect to your new IP address. So open the VPN you have chosen and connect to a server location of your choice. Then open the Google Play Store, then check if it has been successful by observing the currency in the price tags or paid apps. While in some cases, changing your IP address with a VPN will be sufficient, it is also possible that you may need to manually update your Play Store location. You can find these by looking up virtual credit card and random addresses generated on the internet. Now that you have connected to your VPN, it is time to change your Google Play Store country. First, open the Google Play app and navigate to the profile icon in the top right corner to open the drop down menu. Then select the option to add another account and follow the prompts to create a new account. Keep in mind that when prompted, do not add a phone number. Then go to the Google Play menu and select a new account you just created. After that, go to the payment and subscription section and add a virtual credit card with an address from the country you are connected via the VPN. This will allow you to access and download apps in that country. Also, as a tip, if you are using a PC, you can change your country in the Play Store by going to pay.google.com Com, clicking on the settings and finding the country slash region section. Then click the pencil icon and add a new payment account to change the country. Though you could change the country without a payment method, however, you will not be able to download apps without adding a valid payment method. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact if you guys and like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with our future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.